Okay, so we're going to give this a shot. Um, so it'll be all over the place. <laughs> We've got certain cuts here that I don't quite know where I made. This is uh, my version of Virginia. I gave her a new dress. I found it in one of the caves. And you can see I've given her a 9mm pistol. Um, she's happy enough with me now that she comes and goes in the camp. And as you can see, she comes into my, my um, custom built home. Uh, there's a certain stage that you can actually give her things. And you can see the blue light on her is I've given her a GPS tracker. Which then means I can track her on the uh, device just like um, Kelvin. Mm -hmm. She's a weird thing, that's right. There's <laughs> no doubt about that. Her ammo is unlimited if you give her a gun. And technically, I'm thinking since guns respawn, if I go back and get the gun from the original location, I'll have my own again. Currently there's a bug, if you equip accessories for your gun, um, a 9mm gun slide uh, with the silencer and the um, light, it will randomly disappear. So I, I suggest strongly that if you get accessories for your guns, don't attach them yet until they get that bug sorted. I learnt that you can put shelves in your house uh, and put things in them. That took a while to figure out. Um, I've made beds. Uh, this is the first platform I built. Oh, this is where I'm trying to figure out if I can give things to her. Yeah, and you can see now, holding E. I thought I might be able to give her some food or ammunition, but it wasn't the case. You are limited to what you can give her, and so that was me just sussing out that. And I thought by putting food and stuff on the shelves, that they, you know, her, herself and Kelvin would eat them, but it doesn't look like they're doing it. So you can see here's me putting more stuff on the shelves in the home. Soon I'll show you the location I built my base. I'm following cage 848 uh, or something. With where he put his, and it seems like a great place. Here we go. I think I'm going to put it on my screen now. There you go. That's where I. It's not far from where the um, chopper lands, and that's and out there in that bay is where the 9 millimeter pistol is on an orange rescue raft that's out there in the bay. Here's me showing you what I've collected so far. I built a sled, got a compound boat, got the coal mask, rope gun, shotgun. Guns, guns, guns. Half the fun of this game is just finding all the super hard to get collectibles. Let's see, we've got the shovel, I've got this katana sword. We've got the shovel, of course. Two good axes. Torch was hard to find, got that. Money's only used to light fires. I think I'm pointing at the um, my magical hovering house. 
houses coming up. Oh well, cabins that I put together early. Beautiful location. Kelvin's got a bug that he, when you tell him to chop, chop down trees, if you actually put a tree house up, he might accidentally chop down the tree that holds up your tree house. Well, he did it to me. He chopped down the tree that held up my, my tree house. And as you can see here, it's hovering <laughs> in midair. Whoops, here she comes. She's weird. She runs and shouts. She ran, if she spots enemies, by the way, she'll yell and she'll point to them. So she's not just around for kicks. Um, she's, uh, she does uh, pay a lot of... Yeah, look at this. So, <laughs> stupidly. Kelvin cut the bloody tree down this thing was connected to. And you'll notice I put up two uh, towers next to it just to hide the fact that it's floating in midair because that's pretty really stupid. Anyway, that's enough of that. That's so far that's what I'm up to. Um, really enjoying the game. Uh, there's Kelvin having a bit of a sit down now and see she's going back into the house. And you can even see her in the window. 